Hi guys, it's Gunkle. I have a new video. I have got the Playmobil Series 11 figure blind bags. I've got 10 blue bags and I've got 10 pink bags. And we are going to dig in. These are the brand new series for 2017, I believe. Alright, so let's get going. I'm going to start with a blue bag. Yep. I'm going to reach in first and pull out the checklist so we can take a look at that before I dump the bag. Here, let me get a little better view of where I'm going to dump the figure and put it together. Alright, so let's see who we are collecting from Series 11. Ooh. So it looks like we have a pirate. This looks like a zombie. Here's some sort of mechanic. This guy looks like some sort of superhero or maybe a super villain. We have this sort of 70s looking rock star. A Viking? Oh, there's a Viking. Maybe two Vikings? There is this sort of... What is this guy? He looks like a ghost. A ghost butler? I don't know. This guy looks like a Roman soldier. Uh, an elf or a, a gnome? No idea what this guy would be. He looks like just some sort of adventurer with a ray gun. And then some sort of race car driver, daredevil guy. All right, let's see who we've got. Set this off to the side. Oh, looks like the little mechanic guy. All right, let's get him together. I always start with the legs first, then you have to pop this gray bracket. Then there's a tricky part because you have to get the arms. Whoops. Hang on. All right, so he does have a belt. So let's put his belt on first. Let's see. Maybe this direction. All right, belt. Oh, his arms want to click in. All right, then you have to put the torso together. I think I've clicked that in. All right, so then his little head can go in. He's got some hair. Pops right on. He's got a cool cap. And then all of his little tools, which I'm just going to leave in the bag for right now. And set this guy off to the side a bit. And now I'm going to dig into a pink bag. So let's check out the checklist for the pink bags first. Oop, there's a piece that fell out. All right. Who is on the pink bag list? All right, so we have, ooh, she looks like a genie, a royal queen. Not sure what I would call her. Looks like she's selling necklaces or cookies on a rope. I don't know, soap on a rope, maybe. A female archer, a blue fairy, a witch, a winter princess, um, this, she looks like she's probably a horse jockey, a snowboarder, a hippie, a farmer, and I'm not sure what to call this woman, but let's find out who we've got. It looks like that last woman that I'm not sure what to call her. We'll just call her Flower Child, because she looks like she's got a big flower accessory. So, there's her bottom half, her legs. Put that on. And then we need her arms. She's got a yellow head, too. I'm, she must be some sort of flower, sprite, forest... Something, I'm not sure. 
put her head in. Her orange hair. She's she's an odd little character, but I guess it's interesting. All right, so now she has this flower hat. So this looks like it goes on. And then the green top goes, oh wait, hang on. Maybe I have to attach this first. Because there is a little divot in the, yep, there we go. All right, so then we can put her flower hat on. And then she has this, oh, whoops, I missed her neck piece. Let's get her head back out. And she has this little collar that goes on. Whoops. All right, that looks. Then there is this flower piece. goes together like so that she can hang on to. Again, I'm not sure what to call her, but there she is, our forest flower somebody. All right, set her over here. I'm gonna grab another, here, I'll set her back here a bit. These bags are big, they take up a lot of space. All right, so the next blue bag, we'll go back and forth with the bags. Oh, it's another, it's a duplicate. That's weird. I'm gonna set duplicates off to the side. And a pink bag. Oh no, another duplicate. Well, this is not a good start. All right, blue bag. All right, here's a, no, oh no, a triplicate, man. I hope this isn't, I hope these aren't all the same character. All right, here's someone new. Let's see who we've got. Oh, it's the, it's the, the soap on a rope lady is what I'm gonna call her, cause looks like she's got little, oh, and there's some stickers. All right, legs first. Put the body bracket, connect that. Let's see, she has got her torso here. We need her arms first. Because all of it's got to go together at once. There, then we can put her head on. Right, yeah, we'll put her head on. And her hair. Perfect. And then she's got this apron that clicks right onto her waist. And then these are her cookies. I'm not going to take the time right now to put the stickers on, but I'll give you guys a little look. So she has these dangling cookies. There's three of them. And the stickers. So I'm going to set her over here with her soap on the ropes. And let's grab the blue bag. All right, it's a new character, good. Looks like a Viking, one of the Vikings. Feels like there's two Vikings in this. Which I'm not sure what that's all about, but. All right, there's his legs. There's his body bracket. He also has a belt here. So I am gonna slip this belt onto his torso before his arms. So we can put his body together. Hopefully I've got that belt on the right way. Yep, it looks like it. And then his head can go on. Then we'll get his hair on. He sort of looks native. He looks like some, like a, maybe he's a Mayan warrior. Although this, it's such a Viking, but Maybe not, maybe it's a buffalo hat. Maybe he is a Native American. All right, he's got the little holster for his knife. 
that goes on and it sort of, there it clicks in. Where else he's got? All right, so this little dangly piece looks like it fits onto his walking stick here somehow. It clicks right into place there. So he can hang on to that. And then he's got this big woolly cape that I probably should have put on before his big hat. But it, there you go. Why not? Good. And his knife. He's cool. I definitely do think he's a Native American. Maybe he's a witch doctor. He's got this bird head staff. I'm going to call him a witch doctor. All right, next pink bag. Who do we have? Who do we have? Oh, no. It's another one of the first lady that we got. Oh, this is... We're not having good luck with this group here, guys. Who's in here? It is another mechanic. Are you kidding? That's the fourth? Guess I should have paid better attention when I was grabbing these bags. Alright, this looks like a new person. Yes, it's the archer. It's the female archer. Let's get her together. She's got a really cool bow and arrow by the looks. her long braid it's such a great hair piece from these this, these characters all right now wait am I missing something yes her, she's got a neck piece here that I think hangs down the back like that and then she has these little wrist bands. She gets an extra one, I guess. There's three here. Little wrist sheaths. So then, that attaches on to the back, and she can hang on to her bow. She is pretty awesome. Let's set her over here, and dig into a blue bag again. Oh, the new one, good. Who is this? Who is this? Looks like it's the Roman warrior by the looks. Alright, where? There's this. I'm gonna check here. He does have a belt. So I want to put the belt on his torso first. Then his arms can go in. He's got a lot of pieces. All right, so there's that. All right, now before his head goes on, he's got this piece to go over his shoulders. Then his head can go on, and then his hair. Sometimes these take a second to pop together. Oh, he's got muscles. Look, his arms have... That's the first time I've seen that on in these characters. And he also has some little wrist cuffs. So when he's in battle, he can guard his body by putting his wrists out to block him. And I'm going to put his sword in his sheath. And then his helmet has this cool piece that fits right on like so. And then goes right over his hair. And then there he has a shield with a Roman logo. This is a cool little lot of characters. Alright, let's get into our next 
pink bag. Uh oh. It's another cookie. It's another soap on a rope, lady. All right, this was a bad bat, apparently. It's all duplicates and triplicates and quadruplicates. This looks new. Let's see who we've got. Who is this guy? Those pieces are out. Who is this guy? All right. Oh, 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 it's the garden gnome guy. That's who it is. He's got short little stubby legs and a big pointy hat. All right, so let's get him together. Arms. Nice. He's got a short little body, that's cute. All right, now. This little guy does have a beard, which I am going to put his beard and hair on before I click his head down onto his body. Because the hair has to hold the beard on his face. It fits in these little notches. And yeah, maybe it's easier if I... There, that might be easier. That's tricky. Trying to fit his hair over his beard. It doesn't want to go. Hmm. No, the beard has to go on first. Because it fits into those notches that go up under the hair. supposed to go up under the hair. All right, I think I got it. Now just get it to click down. There we go. Perfect. Now I can get his cap on. He's a cool little character. All right, now he has his little watering can. Make sure I put it together the right way. And a shovel. Very cool. So there's our gardening gnome. We'll set him over here with the rest of the guys and grab our pink bag. Let's see who we've got in here. Looks like someone, oh, it looks like a snowboarder. I see a snowboard. Yep. Good, another new one. Let's get her together. Let's see, I'm gonna look at the picture quick over here. All right, that's part of her hat. By the looks. There's that, she has this little scarf neck piece, her little bob, her little hair. She has mittens fit over her hands, keep her warm. Like so. And then this hat, oh, these are sunglasses. Sunglasses that fit over her hat like so. I guess they can go down. There. She's got her glasses on. And then her little snowboard. There's this little dot in the middle that you fit their feet around so it hang it keeps their snowboard in place on their feet. So cool. 
All right, next blue bag. Let's, let's hope they're all newer characters from here on out. Maybe we got all our duplicates already. And... Oh no, it's the Native American. All right, another pink bag. Who's in here? Oh, looks like someone new. It looks like the the queen, I believe. There's a big skirt in there. She looks a lot like the same queen from the last, from series 10. She got the same sort of hairpiece, which I have numer number, little, uh, multiples of that character as well. This might, that's okay though. She has slightly different pieces to her. Do, 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 do. All right, whoops. I'm gonna knock her over. Let's put her head on. Oh, whoops. she has a, this goes, this collar. There we go. I suppose that can click on after I get her head on. Let's turn her face around the right way. And then her collar can go on. And then her queeny updo hair with our long flowing bits. And then her big royal skirt. Let's see, these are always tricky. There we go. Get the back attached. All the little knobs have to fit together and click. And then she has her large royal staff here that has jewels on both ends. Beautiful. Yeah, she looks, she's different from the last queen from the last set, but pretty close. All right, next blue bag. Oh, please be someone new. No, it's the Roman soldier. Man. I should have really checked these bags and felt them up before I bought them all. All right, let's see. This is someone new. This looks like the genie. And it is the genie. Together. She got some arms here with some big poofy sleeves. And then her head. She's got hair like the queen over here does, except in black with long, flowy. And then her magic lamp. Her home. Because genies live in their lamps. I think she's my favorite so far. All right, last blue bag. Too bad there were so many duplicates. Oh no, it's the Native American again. Goodness sakes. All right, last pink bag. Let's just hope that this is a new character. No, it looks like it's the archer. And she's got an extra hair in there, too. So that's a bonus. All right, guys. That was fun anyway. Even though we got a ton of duplicates and triplicates and quadruplicates. But there are our Playmobil characters from Series 11. This looks like a really cool little set to add to any Playmobil character collection that we that you're collect that you're gathering. So everybody, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see all of my videos. They're, they're building and adding up. And like the video if you want to see more. And tell your friends so that they can also join us and watch the videos and collect lots of toys with us. Alright guys, I will see you next time. Thanks.